My name is Brian, and I'm the founder of Beyond Day Zero. And I'm here to share this time and space with you for just a little bit to do a bit of a unboxing product review. Now, I've never done anything like this before, but in the spirit of getting ready for the journey that I'm about to undertake, I figured that I would share it with all of you. So this is just for a few items that I bought recently uh, for the trip that I'm going to be taking. We'll just go over the items that I bought and it's just going to be real brief touch and base on them exactly you know what they are a little bit of information about them um, just to show you what I got why I purchased them and you know what I intend to do with them now. The thing that I notice with thinking about getting involved with outdoor activities wanting to go and um, buy gear it's like huge it's like toys for adults it's great and um, you start going to a mall and you start looking at other videos on YouTube and reading other articles and looking at you know gear lists that different people have and regardless of whatever you're getting into whether it's just hiking or camping or mountaineering or um, backpacking or uh, rock climbing like all these different other outdoor activities each of them have their own set of gear, but there's so much to go through and it's really figuring out what's going to be best for you. It comes down to really being subjective at the end of the day. Um, I believe that's what I heard multiple other people say. Um, that's what I feel myself. Now, yes, there's going to be different items that have function, better functionality or you know, you're getting what you pay for and the quality and so on and so forth. There's always other ways to find better quality for a cheaper price. Um, and right now, I am by no means living with piles of cash around me, so I'm trying to be budget friendly with my purchases as much as possible, while still getting the amount of quality that I feel I'm going to need for such an extensive trip. I needed to hold up as much as possible. I wanted to be durable. Um, I wanted to be big enough to hold whatever I'm gonna be carrying, as well as provide me enough space. Um, and I just want it to be something that's gonna be functional, it's gonna be easy to use. I haven't done the whole tent thing um, too often, um, I could probably count on one hand how many times I've slept in a tent. So this is all a journey for me. Um, and so going through tents and looking for them, I'm looking at price, I'm looking at functionality, I'm looking at the features that it does have, um, and I'm looking at the quality. So I'm gonna go grab the first one and we're gonna get right into it. First and foremost, we may as well start with the biggest part, the biggest piece of this the tent. The company is Hike and Bike. Um, this is the Zion two-person model tent um, in orange. Clearly. Um, so I haven't opened this up or anything yet. The tags are all still on here. And uh, let's see here, this is Hike and Bike, outdoor gear that eliminates poverty through microloans. So really dope company. Um, it was formed by a couple guys that uh, you know, they were a bunch of engineers, loved to go out on hiking and outdoor adventures, and thought, does it really cost that much to make high quality gear that people can afford? So we're gonna open up this here and see exactly what we have. Uh, now, this whole package together weighs about six pounds. Six pounds, 2.2 ounces total. Now for backpacking, I know this is a massive tent to be carrying around on a long distance trail. I'm fairly aware of that. But I'm making the trade off and doing a sacrifice. So for the extra comforts that this, I believe this will provide me, I'm willing to carry the extra weight. At least for now. <laughs> so we have the bag, put this here to the side, and everything seems to have come rolled up in this little, little burrito. Let's untie this and see how it goes. I wasn't sure which color I would get. They have green, blue, uh, this is the orange one. They have a dark green one, lime green. So I end up getting the orange one here. This one. So this is a Now, the pole comes all in one set, so it's all one pole. All you have to do is just put them together little by little as you're setting it up. So we'll get into that eventually, but these are the poles. So we have these stakes here, it's aluminum stakes. I'm going to hold 
Seem pretty solid, at least like this. And then I'm actually really excited to see this other piece in here. Oh, we dropped it. So we have the guy lines here. This will be for the tent to support it and then stretch it out. Close it up. And there's one more piece here I was very interested in. Yes. So this was provided by Hike and Bike. So when you have your stakes and you're attempting to stick these into the ground, they uh, clearly trying to push on this end right here. It isn't going to feel too good. Um, and so they send this little piece along here. Hooks right on. And once it's there, you just push it in and use this so you don't hurt your hand. And I was, when I was, saw that on the review, I was like, it's actually pretty awesome. Glad they included that because this could probably easily be another tool that will cost you that much more money. This would be the footprint. And I'll take this out. And that's the other good thing about this particular tent is that it does come with its own footprint. Um, and so most tents what I gathered along my little bit of research is that most tents will you'll have to purchase the footprint separately. And so this would be what goes down on the ground under the tent. And it provides you that little bit of extra protection that you might need. And then you just lay this down and then your tent will ultimately go on top of it here. And then it's all under it now. And then we have the tent. So this will be the inner tent. Mesh, mesh tent. The zippers. It has two two doors two doors on it. system you just hook it up and go to town and then this will be the cover this is the rain fly that goes on top of the tent so it's pretty awesome I'm actually looking forward to using this <laughs> looks like the cats are right now too <laughs> all right so it's the ultra light backpacking tent for two people um, I am only one person, but I did get a two-person size tent just for the extra room. Based on the reviews that I saw and everything else, I felt like I would need a little bit of extra more room, um, especially because I plan to be out for such an extended period of time. That's going to be a little bit of extra comfort that I'm going to want to have to keep with me. It is a three-season design, and basically what that means is that it's built for most conditions, but not the super extreme ones. So, you know, super cold temperatures, super heavy snow, all the really heavy extreme weather might not be good for this. But for the purposes that I believe that I will need it for, I feel like this would be the best option for me, especially at the price range. So it comes with the inner tent, the fly rain cover, the footprint, the ultralight aluminum stakes, removable gear loft, and a proprietary stake presser, like I showed you before. Um, the all-in-one package also features one pole, two vestibule, and two-door design. Um, and so for anybody who doesn't know, having a door on each side of the tent is particularly useful, especially if you're going to be having more than one person, so you're not crawling over each other trying to get out of the tent. Um, if you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that, um, if you're camping, I will be by myself. But having two doors on the tent is going to be dope, especially for ventilation, if I want to let it run through, um, or just to have the extra door. Just in case you're uh, curious about the design of the tent, the dimensions are 90 inches by 55 inches by 42 inches high. Uh, the stuff sack is 17.75 inches by 6.3 inches 
And again, total weight is six pounds, 2.2 ounces total. It only cost me $100. So it was $99.97 total. Um, and to get the footprint included as well, which would usually cost a little bit more if you have to buy it separately from your tent, this comes included with that. And it just seems a nice total package. Seems like a great company. Um, and they have other products as well. So it's, I'm excited for it. So moving on, and staying with this particular company is gonna be my next piece. That is the sleeping bag. So let me go grab that. So here's the other product is the Hike and Bike Eolus 800 fill proof down sleeping bag. And it's weathered at 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a hydrophobic down sleeping bag and then hydrophobic, meaning that it doesn't retain or hold water. Um, so keep that out, very important. Um, has 800 fill power, uh, so that's with the down feathers inside. Um, and just for anybody who might be wondering, um, Hike and Bike works with other companies that are reliably sourced so that to make sure that the down feathers that are used here aren't taken from live animals or, um, and that those animals are treated as fairly as possible. Um, so to the best of my knowledge, that's what I got from them, sharing it with you as well. As a, um, a comfort level, a high comfort level for people who are cold sleepers um, of 58 degrees. It has a lower comfort level of 42 degrees, or 43 degrees, I'm sorry. And those are for people who are warm sleepers, quite like myself. And again, all subjective. If you are a cold sleeper and you're gonna be out and the temperature dips down, might want a little warmer. It looks like it has this, this little side comes off here, it still moves. And I want to get into this one. Let's see if we can pull this open now. <laughs> Stuff side, and then have the sleeping bag inside. And on top of the tent, too. Now it's going to fit in there. This is actually. Strings, a hood. I feel like this would keep me fairly warm. Um, again, I am a warm sleeper. The body temperature runs fairly warm, so I feel like this might be just right for me to stay warm. Okay. This is the regular size that I purchased. The regular size fits bodies between five, seven, and six one. I'm in the middle there. The stuff sack for size, anybody that's interested in that, is 6.5 inches by 8.5 inches, and it weighs 2.16 pounds. Again, this is the regular size. Larger size weighs a little bit more. Smaller size weighs a little bit less. And so this one cost me $149.97. Um, ordered both the tent and the sleeping bag through Amazon. Um, I will make sure I include links in the description, all that good stuff. So. You have your sleeping bag, and I found out it's not enough to have just a sleeping bag. So, I had to also get a sleeping bag liner. Again, being subjective, I went with what I felt was going to be best for me. This is the Sea to Summit Cool Max Fabric Adapter. Um, the sleeping bag liner that also comes with the insect shield repellent. Um, this is a feature of this particular liner. Not all of the liners have the insect repellent or the insect shield, um, but I felt that was super important for me, especially if I'm gonna be out in the woods um, and I'm sleeping, I want bugs away from me as much as possible. I am a warm sleeper and this is Coolmax fabric. Now, the Coolmax fabric has, um, it's able to adjust, but it's particularly for warmer temperatures. But again, because I sleep warm, I felt like this would be great for me. Without further ado, again, I'm opening everything for the first time with you. So let's get into this and see how this is now. So, and this also has a pocket here for a pillow. So you can put your pillow in here and then put yourself in the long side. And, and then this will go right inside. Okay. 
here, pillow. Let me get that in there. Last but not least, there's one more thing you need for your sleep system, at least where the main stuff is concerned for work. It is the sleeping pad. This is the Sleep and Go sleeping pad. Um, so you can see there. As marketed, super comfortable, two inches thick, lightweight, um, weighs less than a pound. Um, I believe it's 14.5 ounces according to the specs. I'm opening it just like everything else first time with you. So let's see how this looks now too. It's fairly small, like a water bottle size, I would say. That's the bag. And the repair kit. Looks like first everything really. Completely candid. I don't I know I was sitting back as a kid, but this is my first sleeping bag. That's my own. So this sleeping bag is clearly much larger. <coughs> Good. So I should be I should be good and comfortable. That being said, that is it for the gear that I have purchased. Um, it's just a few things so far. Um, just some stuff to get the foundational stuff together. Um, so there was the tent, which is a hike and bike Zion two person tent. Um, I also got the hike and bike um, Eolus. Uh, 800 fill proof sleeping bag for 30 degree temperature. I also got the um, Sea to Summit uh, Cool Max um, sleeping bag liner with the insect shield repellent, um, and then also the Sleeping Ghost sleeping pad. The next step for me to do is to just test this out. So I'm going to get it set up here in the backyard behind the house that I live in and um, give it a shot and just test it out for a night see how it goes and kind of go from there um, I want to start getting everything moving with the steps and what I'm attempting to do with this hike um, and I want to make sure that I'm covering all my bases I don't know everything yet um, still learning the process with this and trying to film but um, it's just getting started I'm looking forward to this I'm super excited about like the whole journey aspect of all together um, and there's gonna be a lot more to come with it. And as I mentioned earlier, sharing my journey with you. Um, so I'm bringing you along for the ride with me, at least as much as I can throughout this whole trip. Those are my items. If you have any questions, any comments, um, please they say in all YouTube, drop them down in the comments below. This is gonna be a journey that, I mean, this video is starting and this is the beginning. This is where it, this is where it starts. Um, and I'm bringing you into it. So please feel free to join along on this journey with me. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, because this is going to be a, a really interesting journey. Um, and I want to bring everybody with me along the way. Um, because as we grow and as we evolve along this journey and as we grow and evolve along through life, there's so many things that we feel like, at least for me personally, I often feel that... Um, also feeling a lot more isolated in this world, a lot more alone. And even when you're around people, it feels like that as well. But there's just a resistance to it. And that's our own resistance. Um, we're much better off when we're connected. And so my journey is to help connect people and to connect people and show others that the labels that are attributed to you, the stigmas that might be attached to you based on whatever is in your history doesn't actually define you. And um, I believe that we can bring this message of healing and hope for a better world and better communities all around us um, by connecting everybody within the community of this country that we all share. And so that's going to be my objective to go out on this. Um, and if you again, any questions or anything else, feel free to let me know, but just follow along and uh, there's definitely going to be more to come. So stay tuned. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you being here and watching this. And if, hey, if you made it this far, you're already on the team. It's all a process. So again, thank you so much. I appreciate it and I welcome you with me on this journey beyond day zero.